Map fans, today we're going to look at how to host a web map for free. This is part of the series of building your own web map. And if you've been following that series, you might remember the survey that I put out on YouTube and three options as to the platform to use to host your new web map, AWS, Google Drive, and GitHub. Now, Google Drive no longer allow you to use Drive in order to host a static web map. So what we're gonna look at today is a different option, and it is one of the many free hosting services available online. So today we're going to be looking at something called Infinity Free. And here I am just going to sign up for Infinity Free. So give me a bit of time to do that and then we'll have a look at what it looks like. Once you've verified your email address, you will be sent back to Infinity Free and it gives you the option of three accounts. I had one. Um, I'm just going to go through the process again to show you what it's like. So I'll click on choose a new account and for my subdomain, I'll go with birdgis. I'll just take the uh, default there and then it asks for any additional information. The account username is generated automatically and the unique password is generated automatically as well. Last time I checked, I am not a robot and I'll create that account. Now I can view it in the client area. So if we go back to that, you can see it is setting up my account and it takes a few minutes for your account to get set up. And here we are, the account is now set up. So if I click on that, that will take us to our account details. And here we have the website for birdgispz.com. So there's our main domain. That all looks good. And let us try and put this into a new tab. There we go. And we've got a holding page there. You can see it's proudly powered by Infinity Free. Um, your, your account's all set up. And if you're not sure where to start, they'll give you some suggestions. But I will obviously show you where we are going to start right now. Now, it is worth pointing out when you first make your account, it could take quite a while for this page to become live. So if you are having difficulties with that, it's usually due to DNS reasons. Um, and Infinity Free have a good page on this called When Will My Domain Start Working? And it's just a little help page. So if you Google that, I'll put a link in the description below as well. Um, it can take up to 72 hours before you see your website. So just bear that in mind. Now then, in terms of our website, we saw what it looked like. I'm going to be flicking between tabs here. Um, so this, this is what the holding page looks like. This is what our Infinity Free account looks like. And I am going to go jump straight into File Manager. So I click on File Manager here, and we've got these files saying HT Access, Override, and do not upload files here. So I'm not going to upload files there. If I go into HT Docs and open that up, you can see files for your website should be uploaded here. And we have this thing called index2.html. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And index is always the first page that um, will be looked for. So index2 by default is the first page that's going to get seen. And if I just click on here and go to edit, you can see what the HTML looks like. And if we scroll down a bit, your account is all set up. It's time to build your website. So we can see the text that's in there. And let's make something awesome. Um, all of that is available. If you want to dig through that and find out how the HTML works, you can do. Now, this is labeled index2 or named index2. Ordinarily, we just have a file called index. So I'm going to go down here and create a new file. And I'm just going to call it index.html. OK. And that's been created. It is blank. And I'm just going to put in the old standard hello 
map fans and save that very good and close it so now we've got a file called index.html which i just made and the holding page called index2.html now if i go to my website currently we're on index2 page but because index is going to be searched for first we should find that it now says hello map fans awesome and that's how easy it is to mess around with your web page and change it don't forget this is live on the internet now you can play around with your index file and uh, the html as much as you like and i do encourage you to do that it's a great way to learn how websites work but if you're familiar with this series of web mapping We've actually already created a web map and what we'd really like to do is upload that to our hosting site. So if I go back into file manager, I'm not going to upload files here because that would be dreadful. Now I've already got my index in here that says hello map fans and then we've got index 2 which has that holding page. And I'm just going to go down to the bottom left here and go for an upload. So I'll upload a file. And then I need to find where this file was. I think it's in Q2 web and live demo. Here we go. Okay, so we have all these folders in here. We've got CSS, data for upload, JS, legend, web fonts, and index. Ignore the Git folders and files for the moment. Uh, that'll be in a future video. So here's our index file. Um, that is one that we would definitely like to upload. So I'm going to upload that. And it says it already exists. Do you want to replace it with the uploaded file? Upload and replace. Thank you very much. And that's transferring to the server. Let's just have a quick look at it and make sure that it looks all right. Aha, that is looking good. Now you'll see in the body here, we've got some scripts that need to be found. And this is JS, Q, GIS to web expressions, .js, JS leaflet, all these kind of things. Now currently we haven't uploaded any of those. So if we go to our website and reload it, I'm expecting it not to work. We have got a blank page, nothing is loaded. This is no good. What we do need to do is include all the other folders. So I'm going to go to upload again and upload a folder. Let's start at the top. Well, let's do all of them at once if we can. No, we can't. So I'll upload the CSS. So now we've uploaded all of our folders and all of our files and let's have a look at our web map. There it is. So we have our web map. This is excellent news. Uh, the sizing is a little weird but we can play around with that as we need to and let's just have a look. Yes, when you click on here so we've got our web map hosted and if you would like to go and have a look at my web map by all means go to birdgis.apeasy.com that has just been one of the ways that we can host our website the other ways that we could do it are aws and github as well i'm going to do those two in future videos and thanks a lot for watching Please don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel. And also, I have recently started a Patreon account. I don't really know what I'm doing with Patreon, um, but it does look like it could be kind of cool. So if you'd like to see some behind the scenes stuff, or if you indeed want to be the first patron of the Bird GIS YouTube channel, 
by all means, get on there. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and happy mapping.